In the next five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can create your very own Solana token from start to finish, meaning by the end of this video, you will have your own token in your wallet ready to be traded. Now I looked around a bit for some other Solana token creation guides and all of the other guides I found require some level of coding, which I understand can be confusing. So that's not gonna be the case today. In this video, I'm going to make it super simple and easy to follow, no coding required whatsoever. That being said, let me hop into my computer and let's begin. All right, so before we start, you need to have a Solana wallet. I recommend Phantom. If you don't have that, download it. If you do, great, we're ready to move on. Also, you can do this on your phone or your computer. I recommend you do it on your computer because it's just easier. So the first thing we're going to do is head to oriontools.io. Let's connect our wallet to the site so we can begin. Now I'm gonna walk you through this entire process like I said, but you can see here on the right-hand side, they have their own step-by-step -step guide. So you can follow that too if you want. Once we're connected, it's really simple. This is how we start. First thing we need to do is have our name for our token. So for this video, I'm gonna call this baby dino coin. Now we have the name of our token in the symbol. The symbol is just a ticker symbol. If you trade stocks, it's the same thing just with a coin. Amazon is AMZN, pretty straightforward. Now decimals, we're going to do nine decimals. The bigger your supply is, the more decimals you want. I recommend nine because most of the time you're gonna have a big token with a lot of supply. And the supply, we're gonna do something like, uh, we'll just do 50, one, two, three, four, five, six, 50 million. And then for our image, we need to have an image of the token. So I'm gonna choose an image. We have our image right here of the baby dino head. 50 million supply, nine decimals, baby dino coin, BDC for short, that's a ticker symbol. And if you wanna have a description, now is where we can write it. So baby dino coin is the latest and greatest. All right, now we have our description and it's really that simple. This is all you need to create your own token. Baby Dino Coin, BDC, nine decimals, supply 50 million. You can do whatever supply you want. There are tokens who have trillions of supply, billions of supply. It really doesn't matter. It could be a million, it could be 100,000. Whatever you wanna set your supply at, you can do. Once again, this is all up to you. But if you're trading a meme coin, chances are you wanna have a higher supply because people can buy more. Even 50 million is kind of a small number. Sometimes people do 69 billion, but this is just for show. We're gonna do 50 million, uh, nine decimals, Baby Dino Coin. And uh, we'll just do that right there. Once we have all this, all we need to do is click create token and a transaction will pop up right here. It costs about 0.5 Solana. And then we will have 50 million of our token right here, baby dino coin. I'm gonna click on confirm. So just give it about a minute or two for it to populate in your wallet and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so it's been about one or two minutes. Now, if I click my phantom wallet, you can see right here that I have about 50 million baby dino coin. I have my own token created, it's in my wallet, and we are good to go. We just have a couple more steps before we can actually list this token and have our friends buy it. So once we have our token created, we're gonna scroll down a little bit, and this is what we need to do right here. If we want to make our token publicly traded, meaning that anybody can buy and sell our token, we're going to need to create a liquidity pool. And in order to do that, we're going to need to go down here and revoke freeze authority, which basically just allows us to add liquidity to this token and create a pool. So I'm gonna go over here and click on select token. If your coin doesn't show right away just refresh the page and it will show up so let me click this drop down menu right here and we can see we have our baby dino coin and we're going to select that and i'm going to revoke freeze authority so let's click that transaction a new one will pop up i'm going to go over here and click on confirm and then the last thing we need to do on orion tools is revoke mint authority meaning that we can't mint any more of these tokens more can't be created and it's a security thing so if you want to launch a token you definitely need to do this as well and it's the same exact process we're going to click this drop down arrow baby dino coin and revoke mint authority Transaction will pop up, click confirm, wait about a minute or two for your transaction to complete and update. You've officially created your coin. You have the total supply in your wallet. Now what we need to do is create our liquidity pool. Now that we've taken care of everything on Orion Tools, we can move over to Radium and create our market. This is the first step in creating your liquidity pool, making your token tradable. I'll also have all the links to these pages in the description below this video. So we're here on Radium. We're going to connect our wallet, obviously. All right, we're connecting our wallet, Phantom Wallet connected, and we're going to select our token. To select our token, let's go to Phantom, open up our wallet, and then we're gonna click on our token right here. And then I'm gonna go click these three dots and click on view on soul scan. It shows me the contract address right here. So I can click this and copy. And I'm gonna go over here back to Radium and click on base token, and I'm gonna paste. Now it asks us to put a symbol of this token. We're gonna do BDC for baby dino coin, same thing. Make sure you're doing this all exactly how you created your token before. Input a name, baby dino coin. All right, and then we're gonna click on add user token. Now you can see right here, we have 50 million baby dino coin in our wallet. It has detected our token and we are good to move to the next step. So I'm going to tap that, click on that for our first base token right here. 
and then we're going to add a quote token. So the quote token is the token that you're pairing your token with. So if I want people to buy and sell my token with Solana, I'm going to use Solana as my quote token. If I want it to be USDT, US dollars, I will do that. So I'm gonna go over here and click on Solana. Now we have to add our minimum order size and our minimum price tick size. So to do that, I'm gonna go over here to this one page and explain that really quickly. To put this into simple terms, if you have a large token supply in the billions or hundreds of millions or trillions, you want to have a higher minimum order size, meaning that they can't just buy one of those tokens because if you're just buying one token out of a trillion supply, it's not gonna do anything. You want to set a minimum purchase amount for that token. And if you have a smaller supply, you wanna have the minimum order size obviously smaller. You know, If the supply is only 100, you want to be able to buy a fraction of that, just like how you can buy 0.001 Bitcoin. This, for example, this token is 0 0.00003252. So if somebody was to buy a dollar of this and you had the price stick only at 0 0.01, the price isn't gonna change. So because I have somewhat of a smaller supply, 50 million isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things compared to this token, for example, at 69.42 billion, um, we're gonna do a smaller tick size. So I'm gonna go over here and copy 10, paste 10 right there, and then I'm gonna go over here to the right-hand side, copy this and paste it underneath the minimum price tick size. And then once we do that, we're going to click Create Market. What we're doing is we're creating an open market for our token. So once we do this, make sure you have everything set how you want to have it set because it's going to cost you a little bit of Solana. Right here, it costs 2.8 Solana to do this. So it's a one-time payment, so you don't have to worry about paying that again. But this is just to create the market for your token so you can then add liquidity. So I'm going to go over here and click on Confirm. And the first transaction is going to confirm and the second transaction is also going to confirm. Once you've created your market, you will have your market ID right here. So I'm gonna copy that. You wanna save that, that's super, super important. Don't lose that market ID. Um, I'm gonna put that in a different tab. Now once we do that, we're gonna to go to this one page right here, liquidity, and we're going to click on liquidity and we're gonna scroll down to create pool. Next thing we're going to do is paste our open book market ID in this box down below and click confirm. All right, now we're gonna create a price for our token. This is also really important. This is where we add liquidity to our token. Once we're done with this, we're done, and your token is able to be traded. We have 50 million supply. We can add all of it if you want. You can add less if you want. So right now, if I was to add the whole max supply and then two Solana, which is about $160, you could buy half the supply for one Solana. So mess around with your price point here. If you want it to be more expensive, don't do the entire supply unless you have a lot of Solana to tie up to it. We're going to do 20% of our supply in one Solana. And if you want to choose a start time when your pool is live, you can also do that. I'm just gonna make it live immediately. So right now, 10 million baby dino coin equals one Solana. Once I have that set, I'm gonna click on initialize liquidity pool. And you can see right here, there's one last charge of 0.68 Solana and then you're good to go and your liquidity is set and your token is done and ready to be traded. So you can see right here, we're adding our one Solana plus the fee. We're giving them 10 million tokens out of our 50 million supply. And this right here is our liquidity pool. So I'm gonna click on confirm. And then once this transaction is complete, once it's created, you're all set, you're done, you created your token, you added a liquidity pool. Now anybody can go ahead and buy and sell your token. Now, if we wanna buy our token, all we have to do is go down here to swap. I'll have that as another link in the description. We wanna buy with Solana. And then we're gonna go down here and paste our contract of our token. If you don't know what your token is, you can just go to Phantom once again. Click your token, three dots, view on soul scan, and then you have your token address right here. So. I have my token address copied. I'm gonna copy that, go to swap. And I'm just gonna do this again really quickly. Paste your token address right here and you can see BDC, baby down a coin is right there. We have 40 million, I understand, confirm. And then now I can go ahead and buy and sell. So for, if I want to buy 0.1 Solana worth. Now, one thing to keep in mind is after you create your liquidity pool, it usually takes about five to 10 minutes before you can buy and sell your tokens. All right, so it's been about three to five minutes. I can now trade Solana for baby dino coin. So you can see right here, if I put in 0.1 Solana, I'll be getting 464,000 baby dino coin. Let's swap that. Swap anyway. Price impact is going to be high because it's a brand new coin. So anybody buying it right now is getting the very best price. And the price impact means it's going to change the price 6%. So me buying 0.1 Solana of this token is going to increase the price of the token about 6% or so. So I'm gonna buy 0.1 and click on confirm. And there we go. My balance is updated right here. I have 40,462,000 and I'm ready to go. Now, if you wanna look at the chart of our token go up 6%, we can go over to Bird Eye. I'll have this as a link in the description as well. 
and we can paste our token right here. So I paste my token address or I could just type in BDC. So that sums up your Solana token creation guide. I really hope this helped. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. This is honestly the easiest way to create a Solana token in my opinion. I don't really think there's any better method. So if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.